I'm sure you've heard someone say something similar to I can't wait to go to grandma's house to have her mac and cheese or I can't wait to go to Uncle Billy's house to have his awesome turkey or whatever it is. It's a great feeling if you're on the receiving end of that when people can't wait to have your food. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a turkey that won't be able to wait to get to your turkey. Stay with me. I just pulled the turkey out of the brine and I'll have a link towards the end of the video about how to make this perfect brine. It's been brining for 24 hours. So we have a ton of flavor in this thing. We're about ready to put it on the grill. Uh, as you can see, this turkey is spatchcocked. And if you don't know what spatchcocking is, it's where you cut the backbone out. We're gonna lay this guy down on the grill just like that. It's gonna allow it to cook a whole lot more even and it's gonna give us a more tender and juicy bird. I'll have a link to that video towards the end, so stay with me. We want this to be the absolute best turkey possible. Juicy, tender. To help get us started, we have two cups of water to go with the third cup of the Cosmos Original Chicken Injection, but I also added a third cup of butter. I'm using this right here, Cosmos Original Chicken Injection. There we go, pull back on it just a little bit before you pull it out. I always keep my fingers right down towards the tip and that helps prevent any messes. Now, the last step is to go ahead and get our rub on. And this is just a 50-50 coarse blend. I'm gonna put a little crushed rosemary on. A little garlic powder. little onion powder. That's it, it's time to put it on the grill. I'm cooking on the Rectec today, and the Rectec is the perfect grill for a turkey uh, or chicken. And it's because it keeps the temperature so specific. Uh, it's even heating across the almost the entire cooking surface and it does exactly what you want, how you want, when you want, it's just perfect. Uh, this is very important to getting the perfectly smoked turkey. We're gonna start at 235, and on the Rectech pellet grill, what that allows you to do is use the feature called Extreme Smoke, works at temperatures 250 and below. What I'm doing for the first two hours is I'm concentrating heavily on getting as much smoke content on the turkey as I can. So 235, turn it on, Take the LCD screen up to 235, push the extreme smoke function. It takes about 15 minutes. As you can see, I have my amazing smoker tube. It has full of pellets, and it is, it's just a producing smoke right now. It's gonna give us a whole bunch of extra smoke content as it goes across the turkey and out the smokestack. Love this when I'm trying to get a lot of smoke content or a deep smoke ring. It works fabulously, especially when you like that extra smoke content. I'm gonna 
it cook right there for about two hours and then I'll show you what we'll do next. We're two hours in. I'm getting ready to open the hood and take a look at what we have. So I'm pretty happy with the color. You can see the smoke characteristics are starting to set in. I want to let it get just a little bit more. And so I'm going to go for about another half hour, but I am going to start bumping the temperature up until I get to about 300. So over the next half an hour, I'm going to bump up to 300 a little bit of time and then I'll uh, then I'll show you what we'll do next. All right, so I went ahead and moved the turkey to this pan here and in the pan I've got a half cup of butter and I put about a half cup of stock and you can I use chicken stock or you can use some water and a chicken bouillon cube if you if you don't have any stock. But uh, that's and it's just barely a pan this big it's just barely kind of covering the bottom and that's all I want. I don't really want this up on the meat too much. I'm not trying to saturate the meat. We don't want it to get soggy, but we want it to stay moist. Now we're going to take the temperature on up to 325. Uh, we'll put some probes in it in about an hour and start monitoring temps. amazing 15 and a half pound turkey cooked in four hours and that's an hour and a half at 235 degrees spatch cocking your turkey is the way to go uh, I'll put the link to exactly how to spatch cock a turkey in the upper right you can see how beautiful it came out it just looks perfect temperature final temperature was 164 when I pulled it off, there we go. We have one quarter off. We're gonna take the other quarter off. Just like that. Now let's get these wings off. Cut that wing out. Cut that wing out. Now let's work on this breast. I'm gonna slice them right down the middle. Now on both sides, I'm gonna follow the breastbone down. Now that's juicy turkey, guys. It doesn't get any better than that. Look at that. Let's try this end piece out, see how it tastes. Man, that's good. Oh my gosh, that thing is loaded with flavor. This is the way you gotta do your turkey. You can change up the spicings a little bit to suit your palate, but I'm telling you, Spatchcock your turkey, link is in the upper right. Brine your turkey for 24 hours, link is in the upper right. You're gonna have the most amazing juicy turkey. It's gonna turn out phenomenal and people are gonna say, I can't wait to have your turkey. I really appreciate you sticking around to watch the whole video. Check out these other videos over here. You may very well be interested in those also. The inspiration behind the videos is your feedback. And the best way to give me your feedback is to hit the like button down below. Most importantly, hit the subscribe button down below. And you can also leave comments. I can't wait to see you next time.